Many of you are loving your new Ryzen processor, but there's actually a ton of things you can do to speed it up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before I get into the video, I wanted to quickly remind you to follow me on Twitter. I'm at GamerMeld and I'd love to answer questions. I'm also going to be specifically asking you for some of the kind of content you want to see, like the kind of hardware you want me to review when I do a review video, etc. I'll also have a link in the description. Now to the video. There was a post AMD did a little while back providing some ways to boost your Ryzen performance by a good amount. While I've referenced this before, today I'm actually going to discuss 5 ways suggested to make your Ryzen CPU perform better. So let's get right into it. It seems obvious, but it's far more important with brand new tech. Something that isn't working right today can typically be fixed tomorrow. It's the beauty of the internet. Even things like BIOS updates are suggested with new architectures and sockets. Definitely remember the importance of following your motherboard's instructions on updating the BIOS though. Newer MOBOs offer some really great tools that make the process easier, but rare instances from a power outage or corrupt files, things like that can break your computer, so just ensure you know what you're doing. I'm definitely not trying to scare you away from it or anything. It's a simple fact that Ryzen really likes RAM. It seems it mostly comes down to the speed of its infinity blanket separating the two four core CCX modules, but either way, it helps. Believe it or not, it really seems to help in things like gaming that require movement of cache more heavily going back to the CCX modules. Right now, you can only overclock certain motherboards to 3200, but it seems future updates are coming that may see that extended as high as 3400 or more. But of course, it's dependent on the motherboard manufacturers to implement it and what boards they do it on, as well as how high of a frequency they support. It is good to know AMD does state that overclocking RAM does void any AMD warranties and depending on the manufacturer, other components as well. Either way, it is great news that AMD is heavily working to increase RAM support. Until the update from AMD coming in April, they suggest using the Windows 10 high performance power plan. This is because idle CPU cores are available much quicker instead of waiting for it to switch over in the balance plan. Also, the voltages and frequencies change much faster in the high performance plan. To do this on Windows 10, simply hold your Windows key down and click X. Then click on Power Options in the menu that comes up. This will bring up the option to change your power plan. Just note that it will use more power than balance, but hey, what's money to FPS, right? Nah, as power efficient as modern computers are today, it shouldn't be much of a difference at all. AMD suggests turning off any tools that monitor CPU temperature while working on heavy loads. It doesn't say it in this post, but Ryzen adds a 20 degree offset on the 1700X and 1800X models to help with their cooling profile. But this can end up throttling your processor before it's actually necessary, resulting in lower clocks. Until monitoring tools can take this into account, you may want to turn the ones that throttle the CPU off while working on hard processes. Just make sure to at least check that your PC isn't subsequently running too hot. The fifth might seem obvious, but overclocking can greatly help performance of your CPU. Now, your ability to overclock is completely dependent on your PC's ability to dissipate heat. So keep in mind that the cheaper the fan or radiator is, typically the lower overclocking capabilities it will give. Of course, eventually you do get to a point where the return on investment isn't worth it. With that said, there are better solutions than others. I'm actually going to have a video up soon on suggested Ryzen coolers, so make sure to subscribe for that. So what do you think about Ryzen's performance? Are you excited for Ryzen 5? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.